All right, welcome back. And today we'll be going over blue team, Osiris team, and noble team, which will be my tower floor number two and three. Now, these three have been gone over plenty of times on YouTube, so we're not going to um, go too much over them. Just uh, go very briefly on a couple of the things you, are, you should be looking out for when doing purchases and how much you... Uh, should be looking to spend um, in order to not be ripped off too too bad because let's be honest we're probably never never going to uh, find these in MSRP aside from the very lucky few right so blue team uh, my blue team didn't came with or well, didn't come with uh, too heavy of a wash and if you see my master chief is actually really clean it looks almost have no wash whatsoever if you do compare with one that came with a pretty heavy wash, yeah, here it is. So, but you can tell it is a right one because the visor is orange, like the deeper orange with lining. And you know that it's not someone just popped the head off from the blue team chief and placed on another chief's body because the rest of the team are pretty much have minimum to no wash whatsoever as well. Which is the way I like it. And we have already gone over all the versions of Chief, so if you do want to make a uh, makeshift, um, if you will, makeshift blue team, you will have plenty of options. Uh, specifically, a really good one will be the Infinity Chief, but since that one does come with lining on the visor as well, but you know, I I can't hunt one down, so. Now, Spartan Kelly, uh, she is the using the Argus armor. If you want a extra, there is uh, there is the Halo Hero Series Four, and there is one from uh, Fire Team Shadow. Both of those, or either one of those, should be fine, and they aren't too expensive. Well, at least the Series Four is, is not too expensive, but in my opinion, the Shadow one's cooler. They do come with their own unique uh, printed weapons as well, except for Chief. I think Chief had the same one as Buck, which we'll go over later. And Fred. Fred is, uh, Fred's um, DMR is pretty common as well. Should be the same as Tanaka's. So, Kelly. Uh, the other Kelly they made is in the Fire Team uh, Firebase set, which we'll go over uh, in a future video also. So if you want another Kelly, there is another option. The figures in that set is not too ex expensive. The set has gone over $100 purely because it is a structure build. And Mega doesn't put out those very often. Fred, you can go for the package Fred from the booster uh, frame set. Um, that one's not too expensive either. You, can, you should be able to hunt one down for about $20. But if... You just want that armor, which I think is Centurion. There is one in Series 8. I'm sure there are a couple in other far teams also, but I don't remember. So. Alright, so Spartan Lock. Uh, there are a couple of versions of Spartan Lock. Uh, you can go for the Vulture one if you don't like it. Now, if you see the Vulture one, uh, Vulture one is more of a dark, like almost brown. Whereas the Osiris one is like a lightish blue gray. And it's also missing the shoulder armor from the from the vulture set. Um, or you can also go for the original original lock, which is agent lock. Uh, should be the only time uh, the first time we are getting the helmet or the helmetless uh, head. The human head now. The difference between this one and the Infinity Marines is he does not have a peg on top of the head. So he came in the Smuggler Intercept. This is actually a decently expensive fig. He goes for about 35-ish. Um, so if you're if you're going to pick one up, I suggest just go ahead and pick out that whole set. It's not a bad set. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool set actually. The you know, smug, Smuggler's Intercept. Um, the Vulture. Vulture goes for about $100, but um, this version of uh, Buck uh, Lock is actually uh, quite easy to obtain as well. 
So if you want to go for this one and make your own uh, Farting Osiris, but I mean Osiris is not too expensive either. You know, just give you an idea so you're not getting the wrong one. Alright, Veil. Veil also came in Halo Hero Series 1. There's minimum difference. Um, the color is slightly different. The Halo Heroes one is more of a brighter red, whereas the other one is more of a darker red, like a maroon almost. I don't know if you can tell the difference from the uh, footage, but there are very slightly different. Now both of them don't, like either one of them have shoulder armor, so they just got like painted slightly red on the little bumps for both sides. And I believe the hero ones also they came with the uh, plasma pistol and a submachine gun when he first came out. But if you want to get one, it should be too uh, too expensive. It should be like ten, fifteen dollars. You should be you should be able to get one. Buck. Um. So they did make another version of buck in the scorpion sting um let me see if i can find it real quick okay so this is the scorpion sting buck as you can see the colors are almost identical uh, it just doesn't have the silver wash it's the exact same armor now, a couple of difference, the knife is not printed on the Osiris one, whereas it is pr printed black on the Scorpion Sting Buck. Um, the visor, the Osiris one is uh, lined with a black lining, whereas the Scorpion Sting just doesn't have lining whatsoever. So to make a better buck, you could just remove, replace the head on the Scorpion one with the Osiris Buck head. So you'll get both the printing knife and the uh, minimum or no uh, silver wash and you get the black lining. But that is up to you. And uh, I believe it's the same assault rifle as Master Chief as well. Tanaka, I really don't know which, uh, which other set that armor came in with. Um, don't really remember. It may, it may came in with Fire Team Rhino, I'm not sure. Or maybe Fire Team Castle. But and Tanaka's not expensive. Uh, last time I remember, I see her going for about five fifty on uh, eBay. So it should be shouldn't be too hard to get if you're going for a uh, makeshift team. So that's Blue and Osiris team. If you want additional information, I do suggest go look at uh, Jane Briggs uh, Jane Briggs videos. He uh, break it down very detailed. I'm just here to tell you roughly about how much you're looking for if you try to collect these. Uh, now, because these two came in individual sets, so most likely you'll be buying them as the individual sets. Um, the blue team will go for roughly, like a sealed one will go for 100, 150. Open one will still go for anywhere between 60, 70, 80 dollars. Osiris, a sealed one will go roughly 60, 50, 60 dollars, and an open one will be about 35, 35 to 40 dollars. And of course, that's coming with all their additional weapons, um, along with the one that they came with, plus the stand, the base build, and their flags. So just keep that in mind. If you are spending that much money, you want to get everything you can. Alright, now we'll be moving on to the fire team that everyone wants to collect. This is Noble Team. So Noble Team, we're going to start from Emil. Uh, Emil is my favorite character. Um, I always liked him. Uh, really very edgy, <laughs> so to say. Uh, and this hero's one is very metallic, especially on the uh, on the red shoulder pad. Um, this very nice and clean skull print on the uh, metallic visor. Yeah, the crookery knife is also printed on the handle. Uh, the blade is uh, this metallic good dark gray. The shotgun is metallic dark gray printed on black. 
you can tell it's black because the uh, uh, hand guard and the handle are actually uh, just plastic gray. Now if you want to compare with um, the original set version, here's the original Emil. I actually have a good one. Uh, this one have clear uh, skull print. A lot of them actually came with almost like barely, you can barely tell. It looks like it looks just like a normal EVA. The cookery knife that they came with is uh, light gray, uh, so there's no print on there whatsoever. There's no print on the uh, shoulder for the original one. Um, the, all the canister, uh, the ammo, ammo canisters are just uh, printed yellow instead of metallic gold, and there's no print on the other shoulder pad. So if you're looking for a hero complete hero collection. Uh, watch out for the differences before making your purchase. That is a meal. Okay, so next one we have is June. Now, June came in Halo Hero Series 6, which, as like I said before, Series 6, last time I checked. Uh, it's still on Amazon for $30 for the whole set, so that's coming down to $5 per fig. And on eBay, this guy currently goes for $20. So if you want to spend $20 for a June plus shipping, or do you want to spend $30 free shipping to get all the rest? I say go for the latter. Now, if you do get him in a lot, um, make sure you got the Hero one if you're going for Hero Collection. Uh, this one is the one that came from the elephant. If you can look at the difference, there's no printing on the shoulder pad for the elephant one. The visor is gold instead of uh, copper or metallic orange. But you do get the printing on the uh, on the helmet, so there's no printing on the back of the helmet and things like that. Oh yeah, and the backpack thing is uh, more of a brown on the hero one, the black on the elephant and look at the other shoulder pad print the sniper rifle it's um it's actually different compared with the other ones um it's not very obvious uh, which we'll go over when we get to uh alpha 9 so kind of compare with uh, romeo's sniper rifle uh, it's very subtle difference it really doesn't matter too much to be honest um they all pretty much look almost the same, unless someone's really nitpicky about it. That, that is a meal. So if you are buying one on its own, a meal, I won't go for over $10, since you can easily just get them for, you know, MSRP. Which I do suggest go for the MSRP one, uh, go for the whole set, just because you do get Levelier, you get the pink uh, Hell Jumper which are also thought after as well. All right, and then we go from this side. So Spartan Jorge, or George, uh, like Jorge. So Spartan Jorge, Spartan Jorge, um, this is the set version, this is not a hero. Uh, I had a loose, uh, I had an open heroes one, but I traded off. So now I had to use, uh, this one from the drone outbreak that came with a weird looking truck on the JFO uh, as a substitute. But if you really want to see what a hero's one look like, here you go. So if you can tell the difference, uh, it's basically the colors, basically all parts are more metallic. Shoulder, pad, shoulder pads are more metallic red. Uh, the silver is still silver, you can't really go more metallic than that. Um, the chest armor is more of a tangerine orange versus uh, the just like a yellow. And the green is more metallic green as well. And if you can tell, the backpack is also metallic green. Ooh, I actually don't have a backpack on this guy. Mm. And the um, minigun is printed on the heat guard right under the... Um, front handle so if you do get a hero's one you want to make sure you don't miss that it is very obvious uh, just the lighting's weird it's very obvious in person you can't miss it 
So uh, this one is going to be stay sealed. This go goes with the sealed noble team collection. So I'm never going to open that one. And we'll stick him back home. All right, and then we go for a cat. Cats came from series 10 along with Noble 6. She is not terribly, terribly desired, um, but she does go for about 20 to almost $30. Um, so there are two versions of cat. One came with a white stripe on top of the helmet, and this one does not. So apparently 80% of the ones uh, does not come with white stripe on a helmet. But I have two sealed with stripes, so I actually like the non-stripe one better. To me, this one is a rare one. It is the only one I have without a stripe out of like three or four that I do have. And here is Cat from the uh, Brute Chopper set. That's like a champagne colored Brute Chopper with a bubble shield. Uh, you, you can tell this one does come with print on top of the helmet as well. It's a more of a darker blue. Gray is about the same. And the Heroes one does have printing on the chest back plate also. And it got printing on the uh, comms unit versus the other one is just blue. So that is Cat. I won't go for more than, uh, I don't know, 20 is a little high, 15 is a maybe. So it is really just up to you uh, how much, how bad do you want it, how far you are from finishing your noble team. Noble six, like I said, we'll do uh, Carter at the last. Um, noble six came from uh, Halo Hero Series Ten. He's a he's a player character, uh, so most of the people will swap his armor out as soon as uh, <laughs> you can. So this one, statistically speaking, probably didn't appear in game nearly as much as it's supposed to, but canonically this is uh, his armor. Now this is the one from the Mongoose, the one we had before. And if you could tell, the visor is slightly different. Um, the old one visor is more of a gold, whereas the new one is a silver. The whole armor itself is gray. Instead of a dark gray, it's more like a bluish light gray. Well, it's not even blue, it's just straight up lighter gray. Uh, under bodysuit is about the same color. And the fun, funny thing is they did change the shoulder pad. Whereas this one is more of um, like in-game when you don't have a shoulder pad. And this one is when you have the um, have additional shoulder pad on. You do got printing on the back for the Heroes version as well, just like Cat. Uh, so in the market, um, a sealed Noble 6 goes for about $20, $30. I think he's more of a $30 range fig. And open one, uh, you'd be looking at about $15 to $20 as well. Now the Mongoose version is not too far either, since they are so similar. Um, also a lot of people, like if you're trying to go for the legendary, legendary edition statue, uh, pose you don't even need noble six so I don't really know where the desire for noble six comes from but the market is weird and the only thing was uh, posing them in dynamic dynamic poses and sometimes you're just gonna have to peck them down in one foot and pray that that foot is not effective all right so last we have Carter. Carter is Halo Hero Series 7. Apparently distribution is notoriously bad. And Carter came with a stripe on the lower right leg, on the upper left thigh, on the uh, left shoulder pad. Yep. Um, the visor, now it looks like it's black on the um on top of the uh, helmet but but it's it's not actually black it's more of like a dark gray and of course the comms unit on the tip is red you want to keep an eye out for that a lot of people try to make costumes or co costume 
costumes. Um, I pass it off as uh, authentic Carter. So if you are one of those uh, authentic figures only kind of guy like I am, uh, you want to keep an eye out for those. Uh, you have to take note of how clean the lines are, which are very hard. Not impossible, but it's uh, more harder to do with hand printed jobs. And also you want to keep an eye out for like the crotch area is uh, the same color as like the top of the helmet. Consistency is key, like what I like to say. And uniform, uniformity is also the key. Compare with the elephant version. So sometimes people try to pass off elephant version as heroes. I have seen that. I've seen people printing uh, the stripes on the elephant version and call it, call it a hero's version. I've seen that as well. But you can tell the elephant version is more of a deeper black. And the visor is yellow or gold versus like the dark copper color. Elephant version, it used to be expensive because it only came in uh, that one set and it was, uh, how much did Elephant go for? $80, $90 MSRP, I believe. Uh, but once they released the hero version, uh, Elephant desirability just dropped, so. Alright, so that is Noble team and Blue and Osiris team. Uh, let me know which ones you have. Let me know what you're still looking for. And are you having fun collecting all of these? Uh, comment down below. And have a good one. Bye.